Gordon Lee was one of the biggest surprises last year. After three straight losing seasons, the Trojans balled out with an 11 and 2 record. Now Gordon Lee is tasked with staying on top. The Trojans have the 30 and 30 spotlight. Winning records have not been a mainstay at Gordon Lee. That's why this year's team is hoping to keep the good times going. I mean, it just shows that as a program, as a group, that we know what winning's like. We just have to strive and achieve to get back to it this year. I think we, we want to show everybody that we're, we're still, still Gordon Lee and we're going to give it all we got, do the best we can. How have you seen this team buy in? Uh, you can just tell, especially from last year, like we all have something to prove. Like we got to follow up what they did. Now I tell the kids all the time, and I and I also try to tell them, guys, it ain't 2020 no more. It's 2021. No, what kind of mark are you going to make on this program? You can't look over your shoulder because those guys ain't coming back. You know, it's on y'all to create your identity. Yeah, the Trojans must settle on a new quarterback and develop their other offensive threats. The quarterback is still kind of a position that's still open, especially mm -hmm. between Cade and Connor, because they both play both sides of the ball. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of just, I feel like it'll be who connects with the offense best. Coach Gross sounds like Colonel John Hannibal Smith of A-Team fame. I love it when a plan comes together. And I'm anxious to see, you know, when this team clicks, when they figure that out. So I'm anxious to see this team start clicking. And, and that's, I'm anxious to see that and how exciting that's going to be. Watch 30 Schools in 30 Days at 11 on News 12 Now. Brought to you by Food City.